today we are going to use some very simple shapes to draw a zebra. So we're going to start with like a semicircle. So a half circle shape like this. You can think of it as a piece of watermelon, half an orange, something like that. <coughs> and then I'm going to put on like an upside down U, but quite a tall one. So upside down U like this at the top of my um, orange shape. Now I'm going to put, just away from the face, I'm going to put a round thing. This is going to be his nose. So from here, I'm going to take a little straight line and another little straight line. And over here, I'm going to put the little mouth. So if you start about here on the circle and then come down and then open up, that's his very smiley mouth. Okay. Over here, we are going to put some ears. Now don't make them too big because he will look like a rabbit. And a little nose. And you know, I like a very big eye. I love big eyes. I think they make your drawings look interesting. This is my new favorite eye. So I've cut that circle in half and that's his eyelid. And then I'll make him look backwards so he looks like a little bit funny. And I put a little circle there and I will color that part in just now. I will color it in black. So inside of his ears just gives us more places to put interesting color. And now we're going to do his little legs. So. The easiest way to do the legs is just to come out from the body with a line and then another line so it looks like he's galloping or springing or jumping. Sometimes zebras do jump very high in the sky. They're like frolic. It's quite fun to see. So I'm going to put all four legs jumping all over the place like that and then I'm going to come back and make those legs double and I go a little bit out when I do the bottom so it goes down to his hoofs. Now if you can't get that bottom to do exactly what you want, just make any legs, okay? Any legs will look absolutely fine. You can also make straight legs. Now I'm gonna give him a little tail. So I'm gonna make his tail up in the air and I'm gonna put some fluff on the bottom of his tail like that, okay? And here is his mane all the way down. A zebra does actually have a standing up mane like this. They don't lie down like horses. I'm going to put little hoofs on my zebra and I'm just using a slightly angled line, angled low at the back and high in the front so it looks like a little hoof. But you can just put um, any old hoof on, it'll be fine. Now we're going to do stripes. I like to make mine sort of like grass shapes. The long grass shapes like this you can also just use a thicker texture or pencil and just use black to make your zebras. And I'm making my stripes come from the top and from the bottom. So making my zebra. You can if you want make this a little bit wider and then put a little white one in between just to make it slightly more fancy. Be careful don't make them too wide because then they start to look like a pattern um, and not a um, stripe. Now for the legs I'm just going to put some simple stripes on like this. All the way down all of his legs. Now if I want my zebra to look like he's leaping in the air, I'm going to give him a few little marks like this. So if I just do this and this just in two spots, then it looks like he is leaping in the air. So that's our zebra. I'm going to speed up the colouring of the zebra. Remember, you don't have to colour your zebra in natural colours. You can colour any colour you like. 